What's going on guys? In this video we're going to be breaking down how you can run the air raid stick concept out of the trips tied in in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player that they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. We're preparing for Madden 22 right now in full prep mode. We got one month to launch. I'm so excited um, to get going on this next season because i got a lot of stuff that is exciting that is planned for you guys so i hope you're excited as well now uh what we're talking about in this series is we're actually um talking about the trips tight end i think the trips tight end is going to be one of the best offenses if not just the flat out best offense in the game next year and but I, at the same time i love the spread and i love the air raid and so i wanted to talk about how you could run the same concepts or the same principles that the air raid runs from two by two spread in an actual trips tight end type of alignment. I think it's going to help a lot of you out. And I think you're going to get a lot of fun out of this concept. So uh, we're talking today about the Y stick concept or the stick concept. And uh, this is a really, really good quick pass type of type of play. And you can honestly do this out of any play from this formation. The play that I like to use um, to, to run this normally is the curl flat play. Uh, the curl flat is a very versatile passing concept. So first and foremost, I want you to know that my zone drops are set to 30, 10, and 10 um, for this concept. And I'm going to run this uh, a little bit different than the air raid, but I think you're going to get a lot out of this video. And we're going to talk about how you can really leverage the power um, of this concept for a lot of different reasons. And so the first uh, adjustment that we're going to make to this, and we're going to give you really two versions of it. One of them is going to be a little bit more of a traditional way to run Y stick. The other one is going to be a little bit more of a Madden way to run this concept. It's going to kind of hedge your bet a little bit. I think you're going to get a lot out of it. So anyways, uh, how do you run Y stick? Well, Y stick is basically this right here. Um, if you take a look at this left side of the field, essentially what Y stick is, um, is we're going to take the outside receiver on a set and we're going to put him on a fade just like this right here. Then we're then going to take... Um, and I might just see, I'm just going to motion over into two by two. So if we were to run like Y stick from this look, we're going to put the running back on the table. We're going to put the X on a curl. We're going to put the circle receiver on a streak. And then on the back side, we can kind of do whatever we want. We could do a slant, a slant and flat combination. Um, some teams do double slants. Some teams like to do levels. Some teams like to do uh, curl flat. Uh, one of the, uh, some teams like to do like double curls, basically. Uh, you can do kind of whatever. But essentially what the concept is, is we're really trying to get, you know, essentially this middle read right here. So we can either hit the stick route or we can hit the running back on his route. And typically what the what the fade route is designed to do is it's just designed to be like, let's say that you're running up against like a cover two. So let's say that they're playing some cover two on you on that outside and you need something to get over the top of the defense. Well, you could do something essentially, um, you know, like this right here. This is this could be another way to run stick. Um, circles on the stick route, triangles on the flat route, and squares on the fade. And what we'll see here is that if they run cover two, we can hit that fade over the top of the defense. So that's a couple of different uh, ways um, that you can basically run this concept. Another way that you can do this, and this is where it's harder to show from trips tight end, um, is if I were to take like Gronkowski, you see I can motion him on the outside, but I can't get him uh, where I really want him. So what I could do if I wanted to is I could actually take the running back, put him on an option route, put the X on a little quick out or a flat, and then I could have a fade route to the outside receiver, as you can see right here. This is going to open up a lot more space on the left side of the field for this slant coming across the formation. Okay, so that's kind of the just little background of the concept. Now we're going to talk about how do you Maddenize it? How do you make it effective in Madden? Um, and how do you make it effective specifically when your opponent is essentially doing a blitz, five man blitz like this, and they're having a yellow zone or their user is going to be right in this area? Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take this circle receiver on the left side and we're going to put him on the stick route okay we're going to put him on the stick route but what i like to do is to actually like to do double hitches so you're going to see i'm going to hitch both triangle and circle okay really important now 
the, I just want to show you this, and this is a, a, a very simple way to run this. So we're going to take the X and we're going to put him on post. He's going to kind of be our, um, he's going to kind of be how we're going to work the backside. So this is going to help us hold the user on that side. And then I like to leave the running back on either his route or put him on an option route. So this is basically what it's going to look like right here. This is my version of stick from trips tied in. Um, this is the way that I like to run it again. If you wanted to do, um, you know, if you wanted to do something like, uh, this right here, where maybe you got a little extra pass protection. Um, you could also do something as simple as taking the, the tight end and putting him on anything, man. You could put him on a curl. You could put him on a corner. You could put him on a, a streak route. Like, there's all kinds of things that you can do with this tight end. But what I like to do the most is I love to put the tight end on a post route. And then I really like to take the running back and essentially turn him into an option route. This is going to put their user in a lot of conflict over on the right side. And then we're going to be able to basically beat any zone combination to the left. So um, all you're going to do first step of the ball is you're going to look at your hitch. Typically, the triangle receiver is going to be wide open. As you can see right there, triangle receiver is absolutely wide open, even against a purple zone. So let me just show you the zone drops that I'm using. Uh, as you can see here, I'm going to put a purple zone over here. I'm now going to add a yellow zone. And I just want to show you kind of what this looks like uh, on that side of the field. So this is just that side of the field that we're working on right now. And I just want to show you kind of what the play looks like. And what's really cool about this is you can have this fade route to the square receiver so you can help pull the deep zones out of the way in case you need to go to your tight end late in the play. So anyways, let's just watch this triangle receiver. And what you're going to see is the triangle receiver is still going to be wide open. So even though even though the fade route is not like a, a smoke screen, it's not an out route, it's not a curl route, it's straight up a streak route, the game AI does not tell that hard flat defender to come in on a hitch route like we would think it would. So for example, if we went to something like this really quickly, I just want to show this. So if, the def if defensively they did this right here, you see? And what we did offensively was we said, you know, we're going to do this. You're going to see here that if I try to throw the out route, there's a guy down there in that area of the, of the field. And there's also um, a player that's going to be on the circle receiver. So it's not a good look. What's really cool, though, is we can basically do this. And if they, even if they run cover two here, I just want to show this. Even if they run cover two defense, okay, where they have that extra flat defender, this double hitch setup is amazing. So you'll see right here, see how they just kind of sit right there and that triangle receiver gets wide open against the defense. Now, where this is gonna get fun is a lot of people will do something essentially to this extent. One of the things I love about Trips Tied In is if they go to man coverage um, and they're not using the man line feature to disguise their zone coverage, then you could tell really easily if it's man or zone. You saw the corner move, that means it's man. And so now we got a whole different type of coverage that we can deal, but let me just show you the same concept. So if it's the same concept, as you can see right here, and I want you to watch this square or this, this R1 running back, you see that if it's man coverage, the running back gets open. Running back is wide open against man coverage. Um, and, so, and, and so also is the post route. And so this forces your opponent. What I love about this offense is this forces like the spacing is awesome, number one. But number two, you're going to force your opponent to have to choose. So what you can do is you can run this go route. Now, what I like about the go route is if they're pressing, you will nine times out of ten get this nice free release off the edge. And as you can see, as long as you put him on a fade route, he's going to burn over the top of the, the press coverage. This is going to force them to have a deep path over there. This is going to force them to have to essentially play over the top coverage. And so when they start playing over the top coverage, what is really cool is now all of a sudden everything else is more open. For example, circle wide open again against, and of course I've thrown the back of my lineman's head, but the, the hitches are open when they shade up. Let me re-say that. The hitches are open when they shade up. So if they press man, you're looking to your go route. If they, or, or your other two man beaters on the left side. If these hitches don't get jammed, Throw right on the inside cut right there. Easy read. Easy read, easy money, and you're going to dot them up. Okay? Now, I want to go over um, a man aligned zone just for a second here just because I want to show you what's going to happen. So let's say they man aligned out of zone coverage. This is the look that you're going to get right here, which is not an advantageous look to the defense. 
essentially what you're going to get is that same coverage we talked about a second ago where you're going to be in something like this, okay? Now, this is not a sound coverage because there's nobody on the right side of the field. So they're going to have to drop a purple zone or they're going to have to drop a man coverage or something. They're going to have to do something over on this side. So, you know, the defense flat out knows its own weaknesses. So now if you get them in a situation like this where, you know, you're, they're sending the pressure at you, that's all well and good. And let's just say, um, you know, for sake of argument that this linebacker does take away the right side of the field, just for sake of argument, again, we come back to our stick concept, and this might be one of the best passing concepts in Madden 21 for a quick pass, because triangle is literally always open. Whether it's a hard flat or a yellow zone, triangle is going to be open. Um, I want to go over one last little piece of this, and that is if they do an adjustment that I just don't think you're going to see a lot of, and even if you do, it's not going to matter. Um, so you're going to see here I'm going to put the vertical hook out here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy in a purple zone. Okay, I don't think you're going to see that a lot, but I just want you to be prepared in case you do. Um, you know, Maybe they roll coverage like this, essentially, uh, just so you can see this. Okay. So now I want you to look to the left side at the snap of the ball with me. Um, and what you're going to notice is that this is going to, that vertical hook is still going to suck in and you're going to still be able to hit triangle. Triangle is the route that is a money route in this concept whenever you go double hitches. It's almost impossible to stop triangle. And if you stop triangle, it's because you have a cloud flat that is either not set to zone drops or not whatever. And so let me just show you that real quick before we close out of this video. But you're going to see how this concept really does a great job against pretty much any defense that they can throw your way. And that's what's so cool about not only the air raid, but also the trips tied in. And when you merge the two of them, you're going to find that you are going to have one of the best offenses you've ever had. And so I would encourage you, if you have not already gotten the offensive guide for this, go ahead and get that in the description of this video. But what you're going to see here is if they go with a cover two drop eight type of look, not only are you going to have plenty of time to work your other combination, which is your post and your option route. But the other thing that you're gonna be able to do is if you see square get pressed out of the line, just pass lean them to the left side and you're off to the races every single time. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the stick concept. I hope this helped inform you how you can use this concept in your offense to be able to absolutely torch any defense, especially any pressure defense that somebody can throw your way. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna get the guide, it is down in the description.